All right, so now we have our pages set up and we also have the master pages set up. So let's go ahead and add in some images on the cover page, the table contents, and our very first spread down here for the feature. So what we wanna do is we wanna make sure that we grab this rectangle frame tool, not this one, we wanna do this one. We're gonna draw out a rectangle the size of our document. And then we're gonna do file place and I wanna use this image. So it's really big. What I wanna do is make sure I have this selected. We're gonna do fitting, fill frame proportionally. So much better. Um, let's go down here and we need to do the same thing. So we're gonna make rectangle frame and then we wanna place it with an image. So I'm gonna use this little galaxy looking one We want to fit this proportionally. So this looks good. One thing you notice though is, well our pages aren't showing up, one, because it's behind this, and two, even if it was on top of the image, it would still be black on black. So it'd be a little hard to see. So kind of like what we did in class, we want to go to the pages. We want to start with page two, and we want to do the little menu right here, and then override all master page items. So, Let's also do it to the right side. So double click on page three. We're gonna do the same thing. Override all master page items. And something we wanna do is right now this image is on top of our page number. So we wanna right click the image. We wanna do arrange and send to back. So now we see the little blue outlines with our text, but we can't see the text because it's black on black. So what we wanna do is double click on this, highlight it. Let's change it to white. And then we'll do the same thing over here. And then the same thing to my magazine name. So we can see the pages now. Uh, let's go ahead and add one more down here. So we're going to do the rectangle frame tool. We want to do place. And let's see, let's do this one. So something else that we want to do here is it's looking like we can't send this to back. Yeah, so there's no options here. So something we want to do is highlight both of these, override all master page items, and what we want to do is arrange send to back. And then now what we want to do, and this is really important, because later on whenever you're going in and you're adding text and all kinds of other stuff, um, you want to make sure that this isn't going to get dragged around or your pages aren't going to get dragged around or anything like that. So what we want to do is we want to highlight this whole spread and we want to lock it. So we're going to lock. We want to do the same thing up here. So lock and then same thing with um, the cover. So lock. So we have these locks. So now if we like accidentally start dragging stuff, it's like, oh, we're good to go. Nothing's going to happen. Um, I might even want to come in and change this later. I don't know. I'll figure it out. But as of right now, um, this is going to be how you're going to add in images. And then if you need to override any of the master stuff, you'll use this up here and do override all master page items and make sure that you have the pages selected that you want to do that too.